Hi, I'm Andrea from the Skyhawk team. Today we're going to go over the ideal placement for the Skyhawk QUE on a live trap using the accelerometer for animal capture notifications. First, let's prepare the kiwi by using the two magnets that were provided to you in the box. Place them on the back of the unit. We recommend placing one on the top and one on the bottom, both in the center of the back of the unit. This ensures that the magnets do not interfere with the internal reed switch, which can be located right here by the slot. If you plan on using the reed functionality, please make sure the magnet placement is correct. Again, place the magnet centered on the back of the unit away from the internal reed switch. We will be going over in another video on how to set the Kiwi up using the reed magnet. One way that the Kiwi can be installed is simply placing it on top of the trap on the handguard. This is an easy method of applying the Kiwi to the trap, especially in environments where the trap is protected from outdoor elements such as rain and debris. However, keep in mind that placing the Kiwi on top like this may be more prone to potential false triggers caused by rainfall and debris. This is because there is more of a surface area that is now exposed to the elements. A second method of installing the Kiwi is simply placing it on the side of the trap vertically. It is always a good idea to securely zip tie your Kiwi when placing it vertically. This method is far less prone to any false triggers since less surface area is exposed to elements such as rainfall or debris. However, the location of the Kiwi could allow an animal from inside the trap, such as a raccoon, be able to reach or damage the unit. The ideal location that we recommend is right in front of the door up in the corner. We recommend securing the Kiwi to the trap by using a zip tie. This attachment method reduces false triggers caused by environmental elements and also helps to protect the unit from any potential damage that could be caused by captured animals such as a raccoon reaching its hand out. Let's go over a few additional tips using some materials found around your home to further help prevent false triggers. One way is to take a piece of adhesive foam and place it on top of the unit. This will help to absorb vibrations from rainfall and debris. Another method is to take some material, such as this piece of rubber, create yourself an umbrella simply by placing it on top of the trap with a piece of tape. Finally, you can prevent vibrations from rainfall or debris to the handguard and trip plate by placing a piece of foam right on top of the trap, just like this. However you choose to set your Kiwi up, always test your intended setup with very sensitivities as well as its location for good cellular connectivity. Please keep an eye out for our video on sensitivity testing. To all of our users out in the field, thank you. Thank you for your feedback and tips, which in turn help us to continue to improve our products and better serve you.